Good morning, good evening, good day. It's Tracy back from Macnally House. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing fabulous. Today is a Timu haul. It's a small Timu haul and I'm calling it my lucky haul. Now, the reason for me calling it my lucky haul, these shelves, they need filling with stuff and I thought, what can I put on there? What do I really want? And I thought, I know what I really want. A bit of luck. And I thought, can I just have a bit of luck, please? <laughs> and I thought, I know how to get it. Let's go finding stuff that apparently gives you luck. So that's what I did. <laughs> so let me show you what I found. <laughs> the first item is, it's a ladybird brooch. Now, it wasn't until I started looking these things up as to what people think are lucky and what are not supposed to be lucky. And it's a ladybird. It's a brooch. And I found loads of sorts of different ladybirds. Like it was like wooden ones and things like that. But the, the bigger they got, the creepier they looked. And I thought, I don't want a creepy one. I just want one that's kind of pretty that could <laughs> sit on my shelves. And this is the first one. A ladybird, historically, ladybird, ladybug. We say ladybird here in the UK and it's ladybug in, say, like America. Ladybugs are, but they're believed to be good luck because they used to be like if a ladybug lands on you, you're supposed to count the number of spots on the ladybug, and the amount of spots tells you how many years of good luck you'll have. And this one has got six and one in the middle, seven. Also a lucky thing. Land on me, bug. That's my first one. <laughs> We're going to put him on the shelf at the end. That's my ladybug. Let's get one of these open next. <laughs> come on, let you go. Where can I put it? There. Oh, no. Not this stuff. <laughs> it just sticks to you, doesn't it? Oh, that's my black cat. <laughs> these are so cute look at all these bits stuck to me ah there's the pussycat it's a black cat do, 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 do. <laughs> the black cat now <laughs> normally in, well especially a lot of the western world Black cats are known as like harbinger, harbingers of uh, of bad omens and things like that, especially if one walks in front of you. But for instance, a black cat in Scotland is considered good luck, which is interesting, isn't it? So, because I wasn't sure whether the black cat should be bad or good, I thought, I'm going to get him just in case. So this is the black cat. <laughs> Picking, um, oh, sorry, not me. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Let's get this one. I'm getting it. I like this all. <laughs> okay, this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now. Yeah, I've got a pink cat. <laughs> no, pink cats are not, you know, some weird lucky thing that you just don't know about. I wanted a white cat and, well, well when I was ordering, because obviously I wanted it to sort of match my black cat. And this sitting one, they had the white cat, but it was way more expensive. And I thought, mm, no. And this one was on sale, <laughs> the pink cat. And I thought, I'll just paint it white. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be a white cat <laughs> when this is a white cat <laughs> it's often associated with purity goodness and innocence a white cat appearing in your life or crossing your path could be interpreted as an 
of a sign of an upcoming positive change or divine intervention. We all need a bit of that, don't we, at times? And I know I could do with a bit of that at the moment. So my pretty pink cat here is going to be white. Oh, look, he's got bits all over him. And he'll help balance my black cat. <laughs> next. <laughs> this is the next one. Now, I'm not a huge religious person. I have um, faith. The faith in that things uh, that are meant to be will be, etc. And I suppose my closest kind of religion is a bit of Buddhism. I love the, the Buddhism's way of thinking, for sure. Uh, but also, I'm a little bit of... Um, a C of E, of Church of England too. So it's not just one belief that I've got. I have a mixture of beliefs. <laughs> they seem to approach all kinds of religions. So this first one is beautiful and also a good luck talisman. And it is their Buddha beads. So let me tell you about the Buddha beads. These Buddha beads, as well as... Um, they tend to be held and worn by men because obviously they're monks and they're done for meditation and prayers, etc. But it also is supposed to create like a positive energy, a positive ring around you. And it's, it could, it's supposed to also attract health, wealth and good fortune and bring peace of mind with an enhanced spirituality. So I couldn't really resist getting them. I had to get some of these. I need a bit of that. <laughs> Next. <laughs> now this one. Even though it's obviously it's not a real horse. Because that would be really tiny. Wouldn't that horse be cute if it was that big? <laughs> but I'm starting to get my hands on the real one. This will have to do. Ooh. Get it out. And look. That's so cute. So, this represents a horseshoe. Now, if you have the horseshoe up this way, it's supposed to fill with good luck and fortune, etc. <laughs> it also keeps evil out and brings good luck into your home. Now, if you held it, put it that way up, then all the good luck will flow out of the horseshoe and out of your home. So no way we need it hanging that way. So that's got to go that way up for me. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> this is a four-leaf clover. It's another brooch because obviously I wanted it pretty as well. Ta -da. <laughs> How pretty is that? Now, a four-leaf clover is Celtic for a start. I know that. And it is, uh, they're charms and they're supposed to offer like a magical protection, warding off bad luck. So it's supposed to keep bad luck away. So therefore, I need it. <laughs> okay, next one. Let's get these babies open so they can start working for me. Just about what I get in it. No. Okay, okay, I'm in. Come on, babies, out you come. This one. Mmm. Pretty. These are Chinese five coins. Um, it's Feng Shui. How pretty are they? Now, the five coins represent the five Feng Shui elements like earth, fire, wood, metal and water. Now, they offer wealth, luck, protection from danger. Sound like something we all need? Heck yes, they're going up. <laughs> This is a really dinky one. Really dinky. Take it out of the packet. 
What does that say? Let's have a look. And will my eyes be able to read it? Whoa. There's a setup instruction for it. What? <laughs> Can you see the setup? Look. Oh, this side. It says, put it in the wallet. Put it behind the phone case. <laughs> That's the instructions. <laughs> and here it is, look. It's a lucky turtle. <laughs> this is going in my purse. <laughs> Look at him. Let me get him out of the packet. Oh, there's a job turn. <laughs> you see, he's tiddly. <laughs> okay, the little turtle. So this little turtle, I'll put him back in his little packet. In Chinese lore, Turtles are a symbol of like powerful good luck and wealth. If you was to get, say, um, an ornament, they're supposed to face north for Feng Shui. And this little turtle is going in my purse. And he hopefully he'll help me out. Can you see him? <laughs> so that's my turtle. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay. This, this one isn't really a symbol of good luck, um, it, but <laughs> one of my favourite films is called Practical Magic with um, Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. Love, love, love that film. And this is um, a verse from that. And it's always throw spilt salt over your left shoulder. I was always told that as a kid. Keep rosemary by the garden gate. Plant lavender for luck. And fall in love whenever you can. You can kind of forget the bottom bit. <laughs> Plant lavender by the gate for luck. I will do that when I move. That's going to be one of the first things that I do. Keep rosemary and salt over your shoulder. So it had to come really because it's two things for me. My favourite film and... Another source of luck. So that one is um, a little bent. <laughs> it came in the packet in packaging. Can you see it's got a little kink here? But it's not too bad. It's metal. And you can, it's got little screw holes here so that you can screw it to the wall. I like it. There's that one. <laughs> And this one, this one, um, again, not typically known as a symbol of good luck, but for me personally, I see it that way. Except for that, except for the annoying static that you get from. <laughs> The annoying static that you get from the uh, packaging. Eh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let me show you what's in this. These are uh, <laughs> static everywhere. Get off. You get them both out of the box. These are, look, little praying Buddha hands. Look. They're lovely. And inside. How cool are they? <laughs> I loved them. Not only were they nice praying hands when they're together, I love the fact that inside you've got the Buddhas. How gorgeous are they? You could use them as bookends if you want, but I'm going to put them on my shelf as little prayer hands. And I, I just thought they were too delicious not to buy. So I bought these as a treat for myself. So in my world... 
the prayer budding hair budding <laughs> the prayer buddha hands yeah meditation positivity a good luck in my book so that's them and i thought they were gorgeous they're gonna go on my shelf one more <laughs> now <laughs> again I was always told as a kid that um, rabbits were good luck, more along the lines of a rabbit's foot. Wasn't generally good luck for the rabbit, <laughs> but as a kid, a lot of people had uh, a rabbit foot on their key ring and stuff like that. <laughs> kind of disgusting to even think that way right now. And there's no way I wanted a rabbit's foot, even a fake one, hanging. So that I got the next best thing that I could. So I kept seeing these and I thought, okay, they're cute enough. Have you seen these? There's one rabbit sort of sitting, matter of a fact, and another one with his legs dangling. And they, I've seen them in... Uh, like a, a really pretty pink and I've seen them in silver and I wanted them in gold now I thought they were metal they're definitely not metal they're plastic and they've got little stickers like for this one you'd stick it to his bum and then you can stick him to the shelf so he'll stay there <laughs> and this one's got a little sticker too so not lucky rabbit feet, but hey, I think this is more lucky for the rabbit because I've not got their feet. They've still gone. <laughs> I'm going to put all these on the shelf. Hold on. <laughs> right. Okay. So I think you can see most of them now. Let's start this side. I've got the black cat on this shelf and we've got... Uh, up there is a four leaf clover. <laughs> this side, <laughs> right at the very top, is the lucky horseshoe, the right way up. And then hanging here, we've got the ladybug, ladybird. And we've got the Chinese five coins hanging on that hook. And to the hook here, we've got the Buddha beads hanging there. And then we've got, at the moment, there's the lucky little rabbits and my praying hens. And over there, at the moment, he's a pink cat, but he's going to be a white cat and he's going to be lucky. <laughs> I think that's it. Let me check. That's it so far. <laughs> And the little turtle at the moment is sitting on the back of my phone because it says you can go on the back of the phone, but it's going into my purse. So the only thing I haven't put up yet is my sign, which actually I'm going to put in the kitchen because I think it's that pretty. Yep. I know you'll probably all think, oh my God, she's crazy. What's she done? <laughs> What's the matter with her? I need a bit of damn good luck for a change so I'm trying to be proactive and trying to get a bit <laughs> so hey it's worth a shot now if I get uber lucky you all know what to do don't you <laughs> just get out there and get all the good luck charms you can <laughs> that's the end of my lucky haul be lucky I'm gonna be lucky <laughs> until next time I'll see you real soon with the next team rule. <laughs> so until then, look after yourself and be good and be lucky. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. <laughs>